Welcome back to the Flats Class YouTube channel, everybody. This is the place where you come to learn all about inshore fishing. Well, these trees behind me have been swinging wildly for about a week. We've had winds from 20 to 30, even 40 mile an hour gusts lately. Unfortunately, my schedule is such that I can't cancel trips. So I had a trip with Daniel Johns, a young attorney out of the Tampa area. And we really had to do some battle. As you can see, he was throwing the papa dog in the opening clip uh, to catch some trout. That's how breezy it was. But it got windier as the day went on and the water got more and more dirty. And we had to resort to some unusual tactics with some unusual baits. I'll let you watch a little bit more action and then I'll be right back to talk about what we had to do. It gets, it gets tough when you have these type of conditions. And what the lesson really is today is how do you, how do you overcome that type of wind? You saw my pants, they were just snapping in the wind. How do you overcome that? Because it takes a lot of uh, your ability to cast certain lures away. So all the small stuff is out. It's out for a number of reasons. One is the fact that you can't throw uh, any, anywhere outside of 10 and 2 when the wind has got you locked down like that because the, the baits just kind of kite across the surface. So it takes a lot of the suspending baits out of play for me. It takes a lot of the smaller jigs that I'm accustomed to using this time of year, early spring, uh, where we do a lot of sight fishing. Um, it it kind of relegates you to throwing bigger lures and throwing brighter colors because if you could relate to this, our fish uh, hunt in very clear water here in my area. And when you give them a week of solid blow like we've had, it makes the water all turbid, um, stained if you will. And the fish that's used to being able to see your lure from a good distance, now he can't see it at all. He's just not used to it. So you're gonna have to throw um, colors and, and larger profiles to, to attract or elicit strikes or even interest. So we were having kind of a tough day just because it was just tough to fish and keep boat position in a lot of places. It's one of the, the times where I'm very grateful to be a power pole pro you know and have the tools that i have to be able to negotiate um win like that but in the opening clip you saw us throwing the the papa dog and we tried to throw some larger natural colors but they just didn't work so we started we started thinking about what could we what could we possibly catch fish on well we were throwing the diesel minnow and this one from z-man is in the purple death color. It's a contrast bait. It actually lights up in the water. It's very chartreuse. Uh, threw a little bit of the diesel minnow and the larger profile and the sexy penny uh, to get a few bites. But as you saw, Daniel still overcame and caught, uh, caught that nice snook. And then if you look right here, you'll see that he, he did catch uh, a redfish, not the biggest one, but he did catch a redfish. And even I threw a spinner bait for a while. Uh, I was throwing a spinner arm on a, on a beer run diesel minnow with an eighth ounce jig head. And I was just running the, the spinner bait, which is unheard of in clear water, but in these type of windy scenarios, it actually works good, even in zones where that's not known to be an effective technique. I could have easily picked up a chatterbait uh, to throw. 
Um, move to a larger spoon. Could have moved to the Aqua Dream 3 8 spoon. But, but generally speaking, you're going to want to use larger baits. Use a 27 MR mirror lure, you know, something with a lot of flash that you, if you're going to use a suspending bait, you could have got away with something like that. But you just got to think outside the box on days like this. And if, if there is one advantage to fishing days like these is the fact that you can make longer casts. Uh, and you get to work some of those, those tools in your box that you haven't been able to work uh, in a long time. Because springtime is generally very dry, not a lot of precipitation. And um, it, it just, it'll allow you to catch fish on lures that you just don't generally get to use during the spring. Um, we'll get some stain in our water as soon as rainy season gets here. But then I move on to other species. But if you're looking for some good windy day strategies, think brighter colors, the chartreuses, the pinks, the orange baits, or the larger profile baits, you know, those that throw a big signature in the water. Those are going to be the types of baits that are going to get you the biggest results on those windy days. Um, this past weekend, a lot of uh, competitors were in the Sodium Big Fish Classic. And those that I talked to that were throwing lures uh, did okay if they were throwing the big stuff. You know, the four and five inch paddle tails. But those that were trying to fish the technical stuff, not so good. Not so good at all. If you're learning stuff here, like these windy tactics uh, for catching fish, give us the thumbs up and push that subscribe button. I want you to share it with your friends. Uh, my job, as I always tell you, is to make you a better angler, give you these little tips, these little strategies that will put more fish in your boat. And we've got lots of other things here at Flats Class YouTube. We've got the Tidewater Diaries episodes. We've got Flats Class TV episodes. We do some reviews here, product reviews, like you may have caught our latest one on the power pole move trolling motor. So if that type of content really, well, trips your trigger, you've come to the right place. All right, I'm off to do another video.